stop calling me Down the road, that's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on So if you want to join me for a while Just grab your hat, we'll travel like that's old style Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on Much spot. Here we are. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'm gonna beat you. I bet you steak. That's that's a bet. Yeah, I was starting to worry. You're almost late. There's your new friend. He's keeping me in shape. Oh, well, that makes him a friend of mine too. Really? Uh, yeah. How are you, Spot? <laughs> He's such a beautiful shepherd. Why do you call him Spot? They call all dogs Spot. Uh huh. Hey, that's enough of that, you two. <clears throat> this is a respectable place of business. Morning, Mr. Robbins. Morning. Hey, that's a fine looking animal. Hey, it moves pretty good, too. I'd have been late if you hadn't challenged me to a race. Do you want lunch? Yeah, look after these, will you, sell it? Yeah, okay. Phil. I told your parole officer what a fine job you've been doing. I appreciate that. Oh, come on. I'm not just being charitable. You're a hard worker, and I need hard workers. Keep your nose clean, and I'll see to it you get a promotion. Do you mean that? Well, I can't have my secretary running around with just anybody, now can I? Thanks. Okay. Get that Acme Tool stuff separated. It's next. Nothing to eat in there. You, you want me to prove it? How did you know there was a cat in there? Now look what you... Done. Smack. You found big trouble, boy. Right now, trouble is something I gotta stay away from. Put it back. That's right. You think he wants a piece of the action? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Well, why not? Maybe he's a narc. I don't know. I'll get the boss to check it out. Meanwhile, you watch him. When he goes to lunch, we'll move the stuff. Hi. Hi. Courtesy of Mr. Robbins. Oh, I hope he likes it with everything on it. 
He's pretty easy to please. <laughs> I like a man who likes animals. Um, oh, yeah? Mm. Uh, Phil, what's wrong? What makes you think something's wrong? I've known you long enough to know when something's on your mind. All right. You know what I found out this morning? Narcotics are being smuggled from this dock. In the way it looks, it's an inside operation. Yeah, okay. Okay, thanks, Chief. The guy's an ex-con. Hey, well, then he's scared or he wants in. Yeah. Why don't you call the police and tell them? I can't. Why? I just can't. Why not? I lied to you. I was not afraid of the last two years. I was in jail. I'm on parole. In any trouble, anything at all would blow everything right now, don't you see? Why didn't you tell me? I was going to. I just wanted to pick the right time. We oh, did that all right. I'm a big girl. I know what I want. I'm only angry you didn't tell me before. Are you saying it doesn't matter to you? What matters is what you do now. You can't just close your eyes to narcotic smuggling. The cops are not in the habit of believing ex-cons. Well, who else here knows you're an ex-con? Robin, as far as I know. He trusts you, Phil. Tell him what you found and where it is. Let him handle it. Okay? And the uh, stuff is in a crate marked Goodwin Novelties, you say? I can show you the crate. Oh, if as you suspect this involves dock personnel, that could tip someone too early. But I think it's best we get to the authorities. I'm proud of you, Phil. But I'm shocked that such a thing could happen without my knowledge. I promise I'll keep your name out of it. Flagler, narcotics. Yeah? Yeah? Did you see the stuff yourself? Okay, I'll take your word for it. See you in a minute. <laughs> There's been a change in plans. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Jenkins talked. We're going to get some heat. What are we going to do now? Well, there's only one thing to do. Get rid of him. Nobody leaves until we're finished. You, Flagler? Yeah. I'm Robbins. I've been told the stuff is in a crate marked Goodwin Novelties. <laughs> Shoot. Just over this way. You with me, Murphy?
What's up here? Oh, uh, the locker room. Hammond, upstairs and check it out. The crates are right over here. even a whiff of this stuff. Anything leave this dock since this morning? No. Well, who told you there was smack on the dock? Oh, I promised him he wouldn't be involved. <laughs> That's terrific, Robbins. I tie up four men. We go on a wild goose chase, and it's all on the word of some mysterious informer. I felt his information would be reliable. Well, apparently it wasn't. Well, if it isn't my old pal, Phil, how you doing, Phil? Fine. Up until now. Now, you wouldn't happen to be our uh, Mr. Mystery Informer, would you? I didn't. Now, what are you trying to do around here? Upset the department or you're trying to cover something up? I didn't do anything. Sir. I wouldn't bet on that. You know, Robbins, I sent this punk up once. And it would make me very happy to do it again. But if I was you, I'd be very careful about who I put on the payroll around here, okay? You blew it. Look, I swear I did everything you told me to. But maybe they missed it. They're not that sloppy. They don't make that kind of mistakes. Those dogs are trained. They can smell that stuff. Okay, so, so what do we do now? Jenkins is still dangerous. You could have an accident. and the crate fell off. That's right. Hey, now look, he stepped right in front of me and I had to jam on the brakes. That's a lie. Anybody else see what happened? <laughs> All right, everybody, back to work. Come on, let's go. Phil, I am heard are you all right? For the time being, I just don't know what's going on. Oh, it's all my fault. No. I, I told you to tell them what you found no. out. No, 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 that was the right thing to do. <laughs> just didn't call him Flagler. He's the cop that sent me up before. It's almost like he wanted to, to bust me again. Phil, please be careful. Hurry up, man. The boss wants the stuff moved out of the other warehouse tonight. You really like that, eh? Oh, go find Phil. I'm ready to leave. Let us know we got
I'll get the door. You start her up. It's an emergency. Please hurry. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Sally. I didn't mean for you to be involved. Stay low, boy. Stay low. You go get the stuff. All right. Seems like a couple of my fellow workers wanted me out of the way. They move the stuff here. Never gonna move it out. This time, I'll call Flagler. Nobody's calling anybody. Sorry, Phil. But you just couldn't keep your nose out of it, could you?
block him off, Golab. Radio Harbor Patrol and get some divers down there. There's two more inside, Becker and Sweeney. I'm sorry I had to be so rough with you. But I've been after those guys for a long time. There's no other way. I had to catch them in the act. Well, we finally got them, thanks to you. Don't thank me, thank the dog. I'm talking the dog. All week long, we're down here, and you picked this place for a Sunday stroll. I love it here. I'm with you. Well, anyway, it's so quiet. It's nice. I think ten more days, and I'm off parole, and we can get married. There's no escaping that, mister. Do you hear that, Spot? Spot? I don't think Spot's ready to settle down just yet. I always knew he was smarter than me. <laughs> There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, that's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on Until tomorrow the whole world is my home 